Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the class. How are you? Uh -huh, everybody, how are you? Can you hear me? Yes? Yes. Excellent. Okay, welcome to the class, everybody. I'm happy to see you here. My name is Clarissa, and I can see, well, I can see some of you already. Very good, very good. Okay, everybody, well, I can see only Tony. Only Tony has the camera on. What happens with the other ones? Okay. Y lo demás? I want to see you guys. Come on. It's the first day. I want to know you. Okay. Welcome to the class. Oh, very good. I can see Carol. Hello, Carol. How are you? Fine, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. And I can see who else? Oh, Juan Jose. Hello, Juan Jose. How are you? Hello. Uh, I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. Also, I can see Carlos. Hello, Carlos. How are you? Hello? All right. Hi, teacher. Hey, welcome to the class. Excellent. Okay, thank you for the ones who has the camera on. I can see Lady Xiomara too. Welcome to the class. All right. Thank you. All right. Welcome, everybody. I'm happy to see you here. Um, I would, well, I hope that everybody turn on the camera later. Well, welcome to this new level. Very good. Congratulations. And, well, as I said, my name is Clarissa. So I will be your teacher in this new level. And if you have any questions, just tell me because I'm here to help you, okay? This is the level six. So you know that we are going to try to speak only in English, right? If in a moment it's like you don't understand or if you don't know how to say it in English, tell me so I will help you, okay? But the idea is to avoid Spanish, okay? The idea is to talk in English. Well, we are going to start. I'm going to share the presentation. Let's see. Can everybody see the presentation, everybody? Yes? Yes. Excellent. Okay, so today is January 30th, and this is the first class. And, well, I'm going to introduce a little bit about me. Um, I am graduated from university in the interpretation of English. And I've been working as a teacher for around five years. And so I've been teaching in different uh, places. I've been teaching uh, to kids and also to adults. And I really want to help you to learn. All right. So if you feel that it's difficult, if you feel, ah, teacher, I don't understand, no worries, tell me, because I will explain again, okay? So um, another thing about me, I love animals. I have a dog and a cat, <laughs> and well, I'm married, and I'm kind of friendly, <laughs> you know, and I love coffee. So now tell me a little bit about you. Hi, everybody. Why do you study English? Tell me, why? Why are you here? Volunteer? Uh-huh. Anybody? Why do you study English? 
Is because of studies? Do you want to travel to another country? Do you want to have another job? Uh, I need a volunteer. Why? Me, Why do you... Yes, tell me. I study English because I like, I like really, I like an other thing that will help me in my work. That's great. Thank you, Juan Jose. That's a good reason. Very good. Who else? Why do you study English? Uh huh. Ah, uh, come on. Don't be afraid to participate. Ah, uh, no volunteers tonight. I will be Picking someone. Let's see. Du, 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 du. Jorge Antonio Sanchez. Hello, Jorge. Hi, teacher. How Good are you? you? Fine, thanks. Why do you study English, Jorge? Well, um, I think it's that very important in my job, and I like to the idiom and and. It's very important because if you, if um, in a, uh, a one moment in the future, uh, I can travel to the other country and this idiom is very important. Definitely correct. Thank you, Jorge. So Thank imagine you. if you want to travel, do you want to travel to another country, everybody? Yes or not? Uh huh. No. Okay. Let's see, Tony. Tony, why do you study English? All right, all right, thank you, that's cool. Now, I want to listen to a girl. Hmm, let's see, Carol, Elizabeth. Hello, Carol, tell me, why do you study English? I study English because it's uh, necessary in the lab professional. Very good. So guys, if you see a no, everybody, studies English for a reason. You have your own reasons. So it's important to keep in mind your reason. So when the class is like a little bit difficult, you say, no, I'm doing this because it's very important for me and because I want to reach my goals. So keep in mind that. And we as INSA4, right? We want to help you to get those goals. Let's see, uh, in this moment, I'm going to show you a video about what InstaForts offers you, okay? So let's pay attention. Please keep the microphones off. If you cannot listen to the video, if you cannot listen to the audio, just let me know, okay? So please pay attention to the video. El Insaforp ha trabajado con un alto nivel de profesionalismo, pensando siempre en incrementar las posibilidades de crecimiento para la gente de nuestro país. Nos hemos dedicado a que a través de la formación se generen oportunidades para los salvadoreños y así cada vez más, en un mundo más competitivo y globalizado, siempre existan en nuestro país posibilidades de superación para todos. Miles de hombres y mujeres han logrado desarrollarse profesionalmente y han ampliado sus conocimientos y posibilidades laborales a través de los diferentes programas de formación que son parte del Sistema de Formación Profesional, el cual ofrece programas de formación para todos los niveles de recurso humano dentro de una empresa. Se ha incrementado productividad de muchas industrias y cientos de empresas a través de la capacitación y formación de cientos de miles de salvadoreños con programas como Área Técnica, ofreciendo cursos técnicos para mejorar el desempeño operativo y tecnológico de los trabajadores. Competencias Gerenciales, con temas de capacitación para complementar y actualizar conocimientos para áreas de gerencia. 
Inglés para el Trabajo. Contenidos estandarizados del inglés para hacer a los trabajadores más eficientes y productivos en el desempeño de sus funciones. Mejora de competitividad de las MIPES. Amplios temas de capacitación, específicos para micro y pequeños empresarios. Cursos cerrados y abiertos. Tratando temas de capacitación para trabajadores de las empresas cotizantes de Insaforp. Insaforp Online. Cursos online con el horario y ubicación que más convenga al usuario para la constante capacitación en múltiples temas y profesiones. Además, el Insaforp también genera oportunidades para los jóvenes y los salvadoreños en condiciones de vulnerabilidad, ofreciendo para ellos cursos de formación inicial para que más salvadoreños puedan crecer y desarrollarse con programas como Hábil Técnico Permanente ofrece la enseñanza de técnicas y destrezas en diferentes oficios, complementando el conocimiento técnico con competencias blandas necesarias para desempeñar un trabajo. Empresa Centro es un exitoso programa que utiliza la modalidad de formación dual, ofreciendo carreras técnicas que combinan clases teóricas con prácticas en empresas con un alto porcentaje de empleabilidad. El proyecto Caminos de la Juventud forma a jóvenes en condiciones de vulnerabilidad que han finalizado el bachillerato, brindando formación vocacional, habilidades para el trabajo y emprendedurismo. Proyectos especiales. Los proyectos especiales son aquellas acciones de formación que incorporan a otros actores e integran elementos complementarios, como desarrollo humano, articulación con proyectos productivos, financiamiento de herramientas y equipo básico para el autoempleo. Trabajando con el compromiso claro de ayudar al desarrollo del país y con un equipo profesional entregado a buscar oportunidades para nuestra gente, es que Insaport ha logrado tener un modelo de gobernanza y gestión ejemplar que tiene como base el diálogo permanente entre el sector empleador, laboral y el gobierno, formando a los trabajadores, capacitando a la gente de nuestro país. Es que transformamos la vida de las familias salvadoreñas, porque en Insaport trabajamos todos los días sabiendo que, a través del conocimiento, es que estamos formando un mejor El Salvador. All right. Could everybody watch the video? Yes? Okay. So, if you see, Insaport is giving you, like, a lot of options and the idea is that you can grow okay that you can learn so if you are here this is a great opportunity for you guys so please let's be responsible with this opportunity and when i say responsible just remember if you want to be here in this uh, course, there are some things that you have to keep in mind. For example, the homeworks and the evaluations, you have to keep in mind the rules. Remember, it's necessary to get the 80% in homeworks. So please remember 80% percent So in your homeworks, in the exams, please, you need to get at least 80%, okay? It's totally necessary. If you get six, no, you cannot pass to the next level, all right? So be careful with the grades. Also, please, you have to work on the platform. Um, is everybody already on the platform? Yes? Everyone, ya todos están en la plataforma? Yes. No. Yes? yes. Yes. ¿Alguien yes. todavía no? Anyone? Hoy a todos. Ready. Si alguien tiene problemas con la plataforma, si alguien no ha podido accesar, or if you have some doubts about it, let me know. Okay? And I can help you. I can give you steps by step so you can go there so remember everybody i need you to work on the platform okay platform it's an obligation okay you had to work on the platform try to work every single day okay because i will check 
the platform every Friday. Okay, so every Friday I will see if you have advanced on the platform. So every Friday I will check your grades. Okay, el viernes yo coloco notas para ver cómo van con la platform. Okay, así que please keep in mind that. Traten de dedicarle a la plataforma por lo menos unos minutos cada día. Um, you can work on the platform during the day, in the morning, or in the afternoon, or at night. So you can work on the platform all day. So do it. No esperen hasta el último día para trabajar on the platform, please. Also remember, um, when we have the exam, we will have the time to do it, okay? So for example, si hoy toca examen, Pues ustedes van a tener, por ejemplo, hasta la medianoche de hoy para completarlo. Right? So, vamos a estar ahí bien pendientes de las evaluations. And también, remember, vamos a tener un examen final. Y lo mismo, si el examen es el viernes, ustedes tienen hasta el viernes a la medianoche para poder completarlo. Ok? Um, also, everybody, remember, en la plataforma tienen el manual. So if you want to study a little bit, you can check the manual. Um, I don't know if you have a question about homeworks and evaluation, everybody. Any question? No? Okay. No, miss. All right. Now, just remember, today is the first week. So the first week is from the 30th till February 3rd. Um, Look, en la semana dos, vamos a tener el first exam. And in the week number four, we are going to have the last exam. Okay, so only four weeks. This level is just four weeks, so be careful. Just remember, work on the platform because that's an obligation. And... These are some rules that you need to follow. Yo creo que esto ya todos lo saben. I need full names on your users. Okay, let's see. En este caso, let me check. Most of you have already, well, I can see you have your full names. Great job. Thank you. Every day, be sure that you have the full names on your profiles here on Zoom. Um, remember, if you want to be listener, you have to write the word listeners, okay? But remember that participation is really important. Um, don't be shy, okay? Let's try to participate. If you make mistakes, I mean, here in the class, you can make mistakes because we are learning. So please try to participate. The more you participate, the more you learn, okay? And important, camera. The camera has to be on all the time. If your camera is on, I can see you. So I know that you are here, okay? So please, camera on and be careful with the background if in your house or in your area there is a lot of noise so try to mute the microphone okay please um i don't know do you have any question about these rules anyone questions okay well, let's continue. If you don't have questions, just remember attendance. Everybody, the attendance is really important. As I said, this level is only four weeks. Okay, four weeks. It's, it's not so much. Oops, sorry. It's not so much. So the attendance has to be the 100%. Mm, yo sé que a veces se presentan emergencias, but... Tratemos de conectarnos every single day. Now, si queremos obtener las, la attendance, el 100%, also remember, we need to be in the class 
120 minutes. A veces solo nos conectamos media hora y decimos que ya con eso completamos, but it is not like that. Ok, tenemos que estar activos las dos horas para completar el porcentaje de asistencia. Así que recuerden la asistencia. Yo tomo asistencia dos veces en la clase, al inicio y cuando ya vamos terminando. Ok, así que para yo poder colocarles la attendance, necesito ver su cámara para ver que de verdad están ahí. Y ustedes tienen que decirme presente, right? Present or yes, I'm here. Ok. Now, um, al final de la sesión, cada clase, al final de la clase, siempre me voy a tomar unos 10 minutitos con cada uno de ustedes. All right. Eso es para aclarar dudas, eh, para cualquier comentario que podamos tener y para proveer feedbacks. All right. So, al final de la clase, yo voy a mencionar la persona que se va a quedar y platicamos unos 10 minutitos nada más. And this is important, permisos not available, ¿ok? Si ustedes me dicen, teacher, eh, hoy no voy a poder estar en la clase por esto y esto y esto. Ok, I totally understand. Yo puedo dejar el comentario en la, tienda, en la lista de asistencia, pero siempre van a tener como la inasistencia porque no se presentaron ese día. Ok, así que attendance is really important, everybody. Please keep in mind that. Um, do you have a question about this, everybody? No questions? No? Are you sure? No? Okay. Well, if you have a question, please just let me know. I'm going to check attendance. Vamos a revisar la attendance the first time. So please, when you listen to your names, say present. Okay? So let's see. Tu, 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 tu. Abigail Mejía Mendoza. Abigail Mejía Mendoza. No? Okay. Um, Andrea Amalia García. Present teacher. All right. Yo tenía una Mercedes. Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Present teacher. Very good. Blanca Elizabeth Hernández. Blanca Elizabeth Hernández. No. Okay. Brandon Josué Zavala. Brandon Josué Zavala. Okay. Carlos Alberto Castro. Present. Excellent, very good. Um, Celia Cristina Choto. Celia Cristina Choto. All right. Héctor Iván Pérez. Héctor. Iván Pérez. Right. Um, Henry Alberto Pérez. Here I am. Very good. Um, let's see. Jorge Antonio Sánchez. Present teacher. Very good. Thank you. Jorge Jonathan Burgos. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Ezequiel Guzmán. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan, oh, I'm sorry, sorry. Yes, Juan Antonio Elías. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose Herrera. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen Rocío López. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, let's see who else, who else. Carol Elizabeth Escalante. Present, Miss. Thank you. Eh, Kenia Elizabeth Rodriguez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Eh, Lady Xiomara Chicas. Present, teacher. All right. Luis Miguel Enriquez. Good evening. Present, teacher. Thank you. Nelson Orlando Tejada. 
Nelson, Orlando Tejada. Ok. Salvador Ernesto López. Salvador Ernesto López. Sandra Abigail Bonilla. Present. Ok. Stephanie Michelle Oviedo. Present. Thank you. Um, Jancy Kelita Olivares. Present. Thank you. Jose Marvin Orantes. No? Okay. Edwin Enrique Garcia? Okay. Hay alguien a quien no mencioné? A mí. Carla Sofía Chévez. Okay. Let me Argueta check. Chévez. Okay. Carla Sofía Argueta Chévez. Tu, 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 tu. Sí, aquí está. Deme un segundo. Yes, perfect. Gracias. Thank you. Okay, everybody. Remember attendance. I'm going to check attendance at the end of the class. So the idea is that you had to be here during the full class. Alguien más a quien no mencionara? No? Okay, very good. So everybody, let's start with today's topic. This is the week number one, and this is the unit number one. So what topic do you study in the previous level? Let's see if you remember. Can you mention some of the topics that you studied or the topics that you remember from the previous level? Uh-huh. Oh my gosh, you don't remember. Regulars and irregular verbs. Great. Very good. Uh -huh. What else? Another topics that you remember? How to use a uh, wood. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Uh -huh. What else? Uh -huh. Okay, I hope you remember the topics. Okay, um, what was the most difficult topic from the previous level? The topic that you say, I know this topic is very difficult. So what do you think? Uh-huh. Real condition. Oh, very good. That's a nice topic. A little bit difficult, yes. Another difficult topic? No? Okay, so mention the easy. An easy topic. What was a topic that you say, hey, this topic is very easy? To be. The verb to be, okay. What else? Uh -huh. mm, como que quizás algunos no se acuerdan, my goodness. Okay, everybody, let's try to review the topics, okay? The idea is to always remember them. Well, I know that in the previous level, you learn different topics. So today we are going to learn the first topic that is how to use can and can't. Okay, so we are going to see the affirmatives, the negatives, but also the question form. So we have the class objective. Do I have a volunteer for reading the objective, please? Volunteer for reading? Only one, please. Me, teacher. Okay, I heard Kenny, I guess. Go ahead. Class objective. At the end of the class, participate will be able to use of can, can't to describe their abilities and someone else. 
Thank you, excellent. So that is the purpose of this class, that you can describe your abilities using can or can't. So let's talk about abilities. What abilities do you have? Uh -huh. For example, can you dance, everybody? Yes or no? Anyone, can you dance? No? No. How about cook? I have, I have food playing. <laughs> can you cook? No. No, nobody? Yes. <laughs> Ah, okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. Can you, for example, can you drive a car? Yeah, actually, I drive a yes. car. Okay, okay. Can you play the guitar? Yes, I can a little bit, but I can. All right, very good. Anyone else? Can you play the guitar? Yes, teacher. Oh, sounds good. Very good, very good. Um, can you sing? Anyone, can you sing? Yes, only in the shower. <laughs> me too, me too, only in the shower. <laughs> no, no, no. Tony sings very good. Oh, really? Yeah. Ah. Okay, so we got people who plays the guitar and we got people who can sing. So we can create a band. Can everybody play another instrument? Uh huh. Anyone else? No? Hmm. Okay, another ability. Can you tell me another ability that you have? Uh-huh. Anyone else? Another ability? No? Hmm. I know that you have a lot of abilities, but you don't want to is, participate. Is live and eat count? Which one? Can you repeat? Is live and eat count? Sleep and eat. Yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah, there are people that they cannot sleep very well. <laughs> I can swim. Oh, you can swim. That's great. Anybody else? Can you swim? Uh huh. Yes or no? Yes. Ah, very good. Oh, I, I <laughs> what else? Another abilities. What do you think? I uh -huh. can ride the bike. Very good. That's another ability. You know, my father, he cannot ride a bike. <laughs> he never learned, never. So what else? What else can be another ability? For example, can you speak another language? Uh-huh. Can you speak English? No, yet. Ah, come on, you have to say yes. I can speak English. You are speaking English now, okay? So you have to say yes. Now, if we want to talk about abilities, we can use can, okay? That is what we are going to learn today. So we are going to answer these questions. For example, what are some of your abilities? Some of you already mentioned, ah, for example, I can swim. Some of you say, ah, I can cook. Or I can play the guitar. Very good. Now, can you read the question number two, please, volunteer? Volunteer for reading question number two? Me. Yes. Are you a fast learner? 
Thank you. Uh -huh, hi, everybody. What do you think? Are you a fast learner? Yes or no? Remember that a fast learner is a person that memorize very fast the information. It's a person that learn very fast. Are you a fast learner? Yes or no, or mm, a little bit? What do you think? No, really. Not really? Okay. Sometimes. Sometimes, depending the subject, right? If you like it, you are a fast learner. Who else? Are you a fast learner? Anyone else? Uh huh. Yes or no? I will be asking individually. Hmm. Okay, I need a volunteer for reading. Question number three, please. Me. What is something? Continue, continue. What is something that you are good? Very good. Think about something you are really good. For example, you can say, ah, I'm good at cooking. Um, I'm good at dancing. What else? Can you tell me something that you are good at? Uh -huh. I'm good eating. <laughs> okay, yeah, why wow. not? I'm good at eating, yes. What else, everybody? I'm good at study. All right, very good. What else? Uh -huh. Anybody else? What are you good at? Sleeping, maybe? Are you good at sleeping? Uh huh. Or not? Let's participate. Don't be afraid. I am good at sleeping very fast. <laughs> <laughs> very, yes. I am good at sleeping very, oops, sorry, sleeping very fast. Fast, <laughs> very good. All right, yeah. nice, very good. Now the opposite volunteer for reading the question number four. What, what is something that you are bad? Thank you. So this is the opposite. Tell me something that you are bad. For example, I'm bad at playing soccer. <laughs> I cannot play soccer. How about you guys? Tell me something that you are bad at. I am bad cooking. <laughs> Very good. I'm bad at cooking. Okay, what else? I am bad at dancing. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. Me too. Believe me. <laughs> what else? I am bad swimming. Really? Okay. What else? Anyone else? Uh huh. I am bad uh, running. All right, very good. So if you see everybody, we are talking about abilities. There are some things that we are good at, but there are some others that we are not so good at, okay? Now, let's see a conversation about abilities, specifically when we are talking about a job. Okay, so for this activity, I want you to read. So I will need two volunteers for reading. So who wants to read? I need two volunteers. Who wants to read? Extra me points me. for the volunteers. Oh, who say me? Me. Jorge. Jorge? Thank you, yeah. Jorge. 
Jorge, you will be Andre. Okay? okay. I okay. need another volunteer. Who wants me, to read? Me, teacher. Juan Jose. Me, teacher. Okay, Juan Jose first. No, okay, Juan Jose, you will be Ben. Okay? okay? So, in this conversation, everybody, we are going to see like an interview. Okay? Oops, let me open up the conversation. Sorry. Okay, can you see the dialogue? Yes? Yes. Okay, this is like an interview. We are going to read and pay attention because later we are going to answer the questions. So, Andre, you start. Go. Hello, Ben, and welcome. My name is Andre Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We are we are offering a manager position for a brand in Honduras. What qualifica qualifications do you have for this job? Well, I can speak English. Also, I can manage small and big projects. And I am very good at sales. That sounds great. Can you speak Chinese? And what about using spreadsheets? Can you use them? I can speak a little ch Chinese, but I can't use spreadsheet, but I am a fast learner. I get it. When can you start? Thank you. Very good. So if you see, this is an interview. He is applying for a job. So can you tell me the qualifications that Ben has what are the abilities that he has? He speaks English. Very good. He can speak English. What and else? Manage a small and big project. Very good. Excellent. Anything else? Another ability? Busy. At sales. Exactly. Look, he's very good at sales. Now, can he speak Chinese? What do you think? Yes or he no? Says, speak he a little speak bit. Speak a little Chinese. Exactly. Chinese. He can, but a little bit. So imagine if I ask you, can you speak English? What can you say? Yes, I can speak a little bit, okay? Don't say no, you have to say yes. I can speak English a little. So can he use spreadsheets? Do you know what is the meaning for spreadsheets? Do you know that? What is that? <laughs> exactly, when we are talking about Excel, right? So everybody, can you use spreadsheets? Yes or no? Or a little bit? Yes, I can. Uh, all right, very good. And the rest of you, everybody, can you use it? No. Yes, no? Yes. Sorry, I can hear you. You said what? Spreadsheets. It's similar to say Excel. Oh yeah, yes, okay. I can. All right, very good, very good. So, is Ben a fast learner? Yes or no? I think that yes. Actually, he is, right? He is a fast learner. So, vocabulary. Every word that is new for you, please write it down. Now, here we got some questions that I want you to discuss it. So, for this position, volunteer for reading, question number one. Uh -huh. Volunteer for reading. Me, teacher. Me. Okay, Tony. Tony, go ahead. 
What are some of the qualifications that are required for the position available? Available. Available. Thank you. Okay, according to the reading, what do you think? What are the qualifications that you need to have to apply for this position? What do you think? What abilities do you need to have? Speak Chinese. Very good. Speak Chinese. What else? Uh huh. Using a spreadsheet. Correct. Very good. Now think about your job, everybody. Volunteer for reading the question number two. Volunteer, please. Me. Yes. What are the qualifications for the work you, you do? Thank you. For example, in my job, um, there are different abilities or qualifications that I need. For example, speak English is one of them. Now, in your job, what qualifications do you need to have? Uh-huh. What can you tell me? For example, use computer. Do you need to use a computer in your job? Yes. All right. So yes. that is yeah. a qualification. Use computers. What else? Another? Make, make report. Make report. Very good. What else? Do you need to drive a car in your job? Yes or no? Totally required, yes. Okay, in some cases, yes. In another cases, it's like, not really, okay? What else? Another qualification that you need to do your job. Uh -huh. Use Adobe P Suite. Very good. So you need to use specific programs. Nice. Very good. So you see, those are abilities. Abilities that you need to have. And when we're talking about abilities, we will continue using can. Another example. Imagine I'm going to show you some jobs and you had to tell me what are the qualifications that this person needs. For example, if you want to be a police officer, what do you think? What are some of the qualifications that you need to have? Uh huh. You need a qualification for just, for just a gun. Okay, that's true, that's true. What else? Uh-huh. Do you need to speak another language if you want to be a police officer? Mm, I think that a jet is necessary. Uh, it's necessary, but maybe it's not like totally required, but do you Oh, that's true. If you're for, from that option, totally necessary. That's true. And what about exercise? Do you need to exercise if you want to be a police officer? Yes. yes. Definitely, <laughs> right? License now, to, to uh, use car? License to kill? <laughs> <laughs> that's true. <laughs> All right. No, it's a joke, but I want to move from... <laughs> but we never know, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, if you want to be a manager, what qualifications do you need? Be mad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Sorry, Tanya. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What else? <laughs> my 
This okay. should have a name. <laughs> ah, hmm. Okay, okay. What else? Tell me, tell me some qualifications or abilities that you need to have if you're a manager. Analyze and take decisions. Very good. You have to be good analyzing, make good decisions. What else? Good to explain pro projects. Explain projects. Nice. Very good. Do you think that a manager needs to be organized <clears throat> or not? Yes, yes, very organized. Definitely, very good. Okay, can you tell me the next occupation? Do you remember? Nurse. Nurse, okay. If you want to be a nurse, what abilities do you need to have? Be sweet with a lot of people. <laughs> to be sweet, okay, and kind. What else? Yes, sweet and kind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what else? Patience. A lot of, <laughs> a lot of patience, definitely. So how imagine. You, teacher, how do you say poner inyección? Um, inject. Be able to inject. Okay, or thank you. In, mm -hmm. So imagine, guys, in this case, are you patient? Do you consider yourself a patient person? No. No? <laughs> uh -huh. And the rest of you, everybody? Do you consider yourself patient? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Sometimes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, hey, let's be patient. Okay. Especially if you, if you work in the ISSS. Okay, so you got patient there. Now, if you want to be a customer service agent, what qualifications do you need? What abilities do you need to have? Very you need to speak English for the, for the job. Okay, first you need to be patient, definitely. Then you need to speak English. Mm -hmm. Or second what language. Is, or kind. another language, yes. What else? Kind. Very kind, definitely. Uh -huh. That's good, very good. Do you think that is necessary to use the computer? Uh huh. To use the computer. Now, do you consider that you have the abilities to be a customer service agent? Yes or no? What do you think? Be what? Sorry. Do you consider that you have the qualifications to be a customer service agent? Absolutely. Okay. Hey, nice. Okay. Uh, another is not necessary, but he's smoking too. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. Now, imagine for different positions, for different jobs, we need different qualifications, different abilities. Okay, and if you want to express the abilities, we have to use can or can't. So this information is in your manual in the page can. Okay, so if you want to check this information, just go to your manual to the page number 10. If it is affirmative, what is the structure? Be careful with the microphones, everyone, please. So, if you, if you want to speak in affirmative, I need a subject. After the subject, I need can. After can, what do I need? What is this? The verb. The verb. The verb. Can you see changes in the verb? No. No. The base so form. 
Exactly. We need the verb in the basic form, not changes. After the verb, what do I need? What is this? The complement. Perfect. Exactly. The complement. So, for example, I can speak three languages. Or I can direct small projects. Now, in negative, what is the difference in negative? Uh -huh. Can you see a difference in negative? Look. And not or can't. Exactly. Basically, can't is just the contraction of cannot. So if you want to say it in negative, you just need to say can't, can't. If you use an auxiliary, for example, if you say, I don't can speak, is this correct? Yes or no? What do you think? I don't can speak. No. Never. Okay. I can't speak. Excellent. You cannot use auxiliary. That is something that you have to remember. This is a very common mistake. Sometimes people say, I don't can. Mm -mm, never. Okay. We have to say, I can. Okay, so imagine if I'm talking in third person, for example, she, can I say she can cook? Can I say that? What do you think? She can cook, is that correct? No. Never. She can. Exactly, no changes. Now, can I say, because it's third person, can I say she cooks? She can cooks. No. Why not? After the can, the can is the very form. Very good job, excellent. So everybody, this is something that you have to keep in mind. Even if it is third person, the bear, is in the basic form, no changes, okay? So let's do a practice. I want you to think about your mother. Can you tell me some of the abilities that your mother has? For example, my mother can cook very delicious. How about yours? Think about your mom, what can she do? Uh -huh. Think about your mother. What can your mother do? How do you say coser, pero coser ropa? Oh, that's a good question. I'm not sure. Let me find it out. Okay. Okay. If you want to say is Sue. Oh, okay, that's good. I'm going to show you. Oh, and by the way, this is a nice dictionary. I highly recommend it. The name is Lingue. So it's a very nice dictionary because you can see the translation, but also you can use and see different examples how you can use that word. So in this case, this is the one, look. And if you want to listen to the pronunciation, to sew. You can listen to it. So in this case, we can say she can sew. Nice. What else? Tell me something that your mom can do. Volunteers. Oh my goodness. My mother can cook very delicious. Okay, she can cook a oh, nice. What else? Can your mom swim? Can your mom drive a car? 
What else? What can your mother can use the computer? Very good. Nice, very good. Now in negatives, can you tell me something that your mother can't do? My mother can't swim. All right, very good sentence. What else? Mm -hmm. She can try. She can drive. Try. Okay. Try. Drive. Okay. What else? She can play soccer. Okay. She can't play soccer. Nice. Now, everybody, according to the pronunciation, it's a little different, right? Just remember, can, can't. When it's negative, we make a little bit more emphasis in this word, okay? So we say, um, she can't swim. In the affirmative, the most important word is not can, but the verb. So we can say, ah, she can sew. But here, emphasize the negative, okay? If you don't emphasize, if you don't pronounce the letter T, so we are not going to understand you, okay? Be careful. Any questions about can and can't, everybody? Is it clear the affirmative and the negative form? Questions? No questions? Okay. Now, there are some exercises in your workbook, but those exercises, you will find them on the platform. So please work on the platform. Now, as I said before, here we got a structure. If you want to write it down, you can do it. If you want to take a screenshot, do it. So you can see the structure in affirmative, negative and questions. So affirmative, you just need to add can. And it doesn't matter if it is third person, no changes, it's always can. In negative, you don't need auxiliaries, all right? Remember, if it is negative, you just need to add the word can't, can't, okay? And in the questions, we are going to see it. Um, okay, let me check the chat. Let's see. Oh, if you want to get the manual, the manual is on the platform. Um, let's see. Can you see the manual, everybody, in the platform? Alguien ya lo vio en el Manuel, si no les enseño dónde está. Porque creo que por el, creo que por WhatsApp, I'm not sure, creo que no se los podría enviar. Okay. But in here on the platform, you can see it. I'm going to explain to you here, student manual. This is the platform. Okay. Here in a student manual, you will see it. The manual is divided per unit. Okay, so for example, ahorita estamos aquí in the unit number one. So you just need to go to the page. Look, this is the page that we read. And here you can get exactly what we just saw. Okay, so there you can get the manual, no worries. And if you want to download it, also you can do it. Just click on the arrow. You can download it. So if you want to keep it on your cell phone or on your computer too. Okay. Very good. Now let's continue. In a question form, what is the difference between the affirmative and the negative form? Uh huh. What is the difference? Can you see a difference? Yes or no? Mm, contraction, the can, can't. Okay, 
In the negative, you have the contraction can't. Very good. Now, in question, what is the difference? What do I need first? First, the auxiliary. Good. So that is subject. Correct. Look, in the question form, we just need to switch. First, I need the word can and then the subject. For example, imagine if I ask you, can you drive? For example, can you drive a car? That is a question. If the answer is yes, we cannot say just, ah, oh, yes, no. We have to say, yes, I can. If the answer is no, no, I can't, okay? So I'm going to ask you questions. Let's see, everybody, can you um, speak Chinese? Yes or no? No, I can't. Very good. No, I can't. Um, can you drive an airplane? No, I can't. Very good. Can you send emails? Uh huh. Can yes, you send can. emails? Very good. That's the one. Excellent. So this is the structure that you need to follow. Is clear the structure? Everybody? Yes? Do you have any questions so far? Okay. If you don't have questions, let's continue. Please, everybody, take notes. If you have questions, tell me, okay? Now, if you don't have questions, let's review. I'm going to ask individually. Let me pick someone. Hmm. A los que tienen la cámara apagada, les voy a preguntar. So let's see. Tu, 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 tu. Jorge Jonathan Burgos. Hello, Jonathan. Are you there? Uh huh. Jorge. Okay, I think he's not there. Okay. Andrea Amalia. Hello, Andrea. Are you there? Oh my gosh. Okay. Hmm. Carlos. Hello, Carlos. You there? Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Abigail Mejia. Hello, Abigail. Hello. Okay, Abigail. Let's see. Tell me affirmative sentence using can. I can't. Um, dancing. Okay, I can dancing. I'm going to write it. And everybody, you have to tell me if the sentence is correct or not. So she said, I can dancing. Is that correct? I can dance. No. Ah, no. what is the correct one? I can yes. dance. I can dance. Thank you, Abigail. Remember the verb in the base form. All right, let me pick someone else. Atilio, Ernesto. Hello, Atilio. Hello, teacher. Okay, Atilio, tell me a negative sentence. Uh-huh, negative uh, sentence. Can not dance? Okay, I can't dance or dancing? Dance. Dance, very good. So remember everybody, it's not necessary to say cannot. Normally we use cannot when we are writing. But if you are speaking, we say can't. 
Okay, I want to ask, for example, ¿Tú puedes bailar? How can I ask that question? Mm -hmm. Can you dance? Very good. Can you dance? Now, if the answer is yes, what can I say? Ah, oh, yes. I can. Good I can. job. But if the answer is no, no, I, I can't. can't. That's the one. Good job. So, yes, I can. Mm, no, I can't. So, that is the structure that we need to follow when we use can and can't. Is it clear, everybody? Yes? Any other questions? No? Is it clear? Yes. Okay, very good. Now, let's continue. Let's do a practice. I want you to talk, okay? Look at this. I want you to ask questions to your classmate using can you. For example, look at the first sentence is speak three languages or more. What will be the question here? Mm -hmm. Can you speak three or more languages? So everybody, I want you to ask to your classmates. Can you speak three languages or more? So if your classmate says yes, I need you to write the answer. For example, um, yes, she can. Another question, dance. ¿Cómo sería la question here? Dance. Can, can, you can, you dance? Dance? can you dance? Very good. If your classmates say no, you have to write the answer and you have to say, well, no, she can't. Okay. Next one, what will be the question? Can you drive can a motorcycle? You good. You can add a compliment. So you can say, can you drive a car, a motorcycle, a bus, for example. I don't know. So you can give a compliment. Mot motorcycle no es right. Right. Yes. You can use ride. If you want to use with motorcycle or bicycles, you can change the verb. Okay. Now, if the answer is yes, the same. I want you to write it. For example, yes, he can. Now, is there a vocabulary here that you don't understand in these questions? Mm -hmm. Is it clear? Yes, teacher. What is the meaning of touch type? Ah, very good. Pay attention to this word, everybody. Touch type. This one is when you type or write on the computer, but you don't watch um, the keyboard. Okay? So you are just like typing and typing very fast, but you don't need to watch the keyboard. Okay, so everybody, can you touch type? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, okay, very good. And you everybody, can you touch type? Yes, no, a little bit. How, how do you say pick up for you? <laughs> pick up for you. That's a, that's a nice idiom in Spanish. Um, the translation will be just type slow. So if you want to say, you can say, um, I can type slow or slowly, all right? So I want you to ask all these questions to your classmates and I want you to write the answers because 
at the end of the practice, I will ask you, okay? I will ask, what did your classmate say? Okay, so I'm going to send uh, this picture on WhatsApp's group so you can see the questions and you can see the sentences. Um, before that, I have a question. Is anybody here that is not in the group on WhatsApp's group? Or is everybody on WhatsApp group already? Yes? Alguien no está en el grupo? No? Is everybody on WhatsApp's group? I am. Yes? Todos? You know. Oh, Atilio, you are not. Okay. No. Okay. Ahorita me uno. Okay, yes, please. Um, Todos tienen el link? Atilio, usted tiene el link para unirse al grupo de WhatsApp? Yes, teacher. Okay. Es, que venía, es que venía manejando por eso. Pero okay. ahorita, ahorita me uno. Okay, no worries. Okay, please everybody join the, to WhatsApp's group. I already sent the picture with the questions, but if you want to take a screenshot, also you can do it, okay? We are going to be working in teams. So the idea is that you interview your classmates and then answer the questions. Listen, participation is really important. So please, when we are in the breaking rooms, I want to everybody participate, okay? Please. Okay, is everybody ready for the breaking rooms? Yes? Now, if for one reason you are alone in the breaking rooms, tell me, okay? Si de repente están en un room en el que nadie contesta, in el que solo ustedes están. So please tell me, send me a message, could be on WhatsApp's group or here in the chat, so I can switch you to a different group, okay? So everybody, let's go to work. Remember, write the answers because later I will ask you, okay? Do you have questions before going to the breaking rooms? Is it clear the activity? Yes? Okay, so let's go to work. Do you have the picture? Yes. Uh, no está habilitada al poder compartir la pantalla para compartirla. Oh, ok. I want to read. Hello, okay. Abby. Hello, Abby. Eh, Juanjo, eh, can you speak three language or more? No, I can speak three language or more. Eh, if you want, I'm going to ask you eh, the first and after that you um, uh, ask me the same question and we are going to participate at the same time. Okay. Uh, can you, do you speak three language or more? Uh, sorry, you can speak three language or more? No, I can't. Can you dance? No, I can't. Can you dance? Um, I like to dance, but I can't. Okay, okay. Can you drive? Yes, I can. Can you drive? No, I can't. Can you use a fax machine? Yes, I can use a fax machine. Can you use a fax machine? Yes, I can use a fax machine. All right, stop there. Sorry to interrupt you. I think that Abigail is also in the group. So please also interview Abigail, please. Sorry, teacher. Es que voy entrando a la casa y apenas estoy haciendo mi cena. Oh. Por eso es que no puedo participar porque apenas voy entrando. Ah, Sorry. okay. Got it. No worries. En estos momentos en lo que como ah, Okay. Rápido. Okay, very Sorry, good. Teacher. Thank you. Okay, guys, continue, please. 
Thank okay. You. Uh, Hi, good evening. Can you um, ability or uh, available the uh, share screen, please? Oh, yeah, sure. Give me a sec. Um, okay, look, in this moment, I cannot habilitate that option. Sorry, because I didn't configure this uh, meeting. For tomorrow, I will try to habilitate it, okay? Please, sorry, but today I can't. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Okay, continue, please. Okay. Uh, can you speak three languages or more? Y la respuesta sería no. I can. Para el primer ejemplo. Uh, um, no sé si me van ayudando con nosotros. Ok. peleándome ahorita sí. con, con la computadora y no puedo. Pero bueno. Eh, eh, eh. No Spanish, no Spanish. You can do it. Okay, you can ask one and one. For example, Tony, ask the first question. The first question oh. is... Can you, can you speak, speak language, three language? From what? Thank you. Okay, lady, what will be the question? Uh, I'm sorry, the answer, the answer. Can you speak three languages or more? No, I can't. Very good. No, I can't. Now, lady, ask the question to Tony. Okay. Uh, can you speak three languages or more? No, I can two. Ah, very good. That's good. Okay, Tony, ask the next question. Lady answers and you continue, okay? Okay, okay. 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 And the next question is for Andrea Amalia. Uh, Andrea, can you dance very well? Okay, mm -hmm. I think that she's not there. So, lady, answer. You're the question. Okay, excuse me. Lady, can you dance very well? Yes, I can. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go to the party. Okay. <laughs> yes. Mucho. No se puede. Do you finish? No. no teacher. The, uh, no podemos this, compartir. Yes, uh -huh. I'm sorry. In this moment, I don't know why you cannot, but I'm going to fix that. And tomorrow, uh, I will be. Uh, I will try that you can share tomorrow. But today, I I don't know why you cannot. So sorry. Pero es que los dos compañeros no están en el grupo de WhatsApp. No tienen la imagen. Oh my gosh. Okay, if you want, you can. Ya, ya me, ya me agregué. Okay, so can you see the picture? Or if you want, I yeah, can share it. Speak three language or more. Okay, so Luis, ask the first question and Carol, you will answer. Can you speak three language or more? Um, no, I can't. All right, no, no, Carol, no. ask him the question. Quiero abrir, es que lo que pasa es que yo hoy estoy desde el celular y tengo que estar, eh, se me pierden las cosas. Ah, okay, so Carol, you can Ajá. say, and you, or how about you? So you can repeat the question. Oh, Carol is gone. Abigail, are you there? 
Yes. Okay. So, ask the Yo next. Yo he tocado con un grupo de cuatro personas, pero una al más que entró se salió y hablé y ninguno de los dos me contestaron, así que me salí. <laughs> okay, no, but you're here right now. Abigail, can you ask one of the questions to Miguel, please? Okay, no tengo la imagen porque estoy en la tablet y el teléfono lo tengo cargando. Okay, I'm going to share the picture. Go ahead. Okay. Can you speak three languages or more? No, I can't. Okay. Next question. Luis, ask here. Can you dance, Abigail? No, I can't. Uh -huh. Abigail, next question. Can you drive? Yes, I can. Uh -huh. Next. Can, Can you... you use a fax machine? Fax machine. Es como el fax, verdad? Fax, yes. Sí. Ya no, no existe. I can't. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. I think that nobody uses fax anymore. Okay. Next one. Can What you... is a touch type? Touch type. Okay, touch type, everybody, is when you can type very fast, but you don't watch oh. the keyboard. Yo pensé que era máquina oh. de escribir. <laughs> uh -huh. So, can you touch type? Yes, I can. Okay, very good. And Abigail, what about you? Can you touch type? Mm, no. It's no? difficult. I okay. don't practice this. <laughs> ah, okay. So remember, if the answer is yes, we say, yes, I can. If the answer is no, no, I can't. Okay? So, okay. continue. Now, you can ask your own questions. Creen ustedes mismos las preguntas. What can you ask? Can you ride the bicycle? Mm -hmm. Right. Yes, I can. Can you dance the cumbia? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> Entonces la... Hi. Did I listen to Spanish? No, yes. right? Only English. We we need to enable a, share, a, a screen sharing. Yeah, I know. I know. I don't know why today you cannot share it. I don't know. I'm not sure why, but I'm going to fix it. So tomorrow you will. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Yes. So everybody, can you dance? Uh huh. No, she can dance. No, okay. She can dance. okay, okay. She mm. Now, everybody, what will be the answer if I say, can you sing? Only in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> only I can the... only in the shower. Okay, I can only on the, in the shower. Okay. Karen, uh, how about you? Can you sing? And drive it. And drive it only. Okay, all right. <laughs> and Karen, how about you? Can you sing? No, I can. Okay, how about cook? Can you cook? <laughs> yes, I can cook. Yes, I, I like cook. All, all right. right. <laughs> and Atilio, can you cook? Um, yes. Ah. All right, nice job. Can you, um, let's see, let's see. Can you use a fax machine? I don't remember how to use. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, it's not very common, the fax machine anymore. So Karen, can you use a fax machine? No, I can't. Okay, Atilio? Not okay. 
Okay, very good. Only, okay, only Henry. Only Henry. Only Henry. I yeah. don't remember, uh, but, uh, but I I was using the fax machine. Ah, um, okay. And like uh, um, I'm working until. Ah, oh, really? Yeah, they they use that machine. Okay. Well, we are going to go back to the main room. Okay, let's go back. Okay, time's up, time's up, time's up. We are going to wait for the rest of your classmates. Okay, let's see, let's see everybody. Okay, how was the practice? Easy or difficult? Uh-huh, how was the practice? Uh -huh. Easy or difficult? How was the practice? ¿Cómo sintieron la practice? Easy. Easy? Easy. Very good. Nice. Did your classmates ask the questions with the correct structure? Yes or no? Uh -huh. Did your classmate use the correct structure? Yes? Yes. Okay. Did your classmate speak in Spanish? A little. A little bit. A <laughs> little, bit, little bit. Okay. Be careful. Well, only for getting instruction. Ah, okay. Nice. So remember, when we go to the breaking rooms, we need to try to speak full, full in English, all right? Because that is the only moment that we have to practice. Now, super good. I was listening to the questions. So nice structure, very good answers. And um, I know that today you couldn't share uh, the screen, but no worries. I'm going to fix it. So tomorrow you can share the screen, okay? Now, important, look at this sentence and tell me if the sentence is correct or not. You can speak three languages. Is that sentence correct? Yes or no? no. It's incorrect. Can you Why? speak three languages? Ah, very good. Remember, if it is a question, I need to start with can. So... Can you speak? Now, I have another question. What is the pronunciation of this word? Languages. Very good, excellent. So, if it is in plural, we say languages. If it is in singular, we say language. language. Okay, so, Singular, language. Plural, languages. Okay? Be careful. Now, let me ask you, let's see if you pay attention to your classmates. I will be asking one by one. Let's start with tu, 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 Juan Jose Herrera. Hello, Juan. Hello. Okay, Juan. Tell me about your classmates. Can your classmates play the guitar? No, she can't play the guitar. Very good. Thank you, Juan. Okay, let's see. Carol. Hello, Carol. Hello. Tell me about your classmates. Can your classmate dance? Um, no, no, eh, no, they, they can't. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. Let's see who else. Ta -ta -ta Cecilia. Hel oh, sorry. Celia. Celia Cristina. Hello, Celia. Hello. Good evening. 
Good evening. Tell me about your classmates. Can your classmate use a fax machine? Yes, I can. Okay, and your classmates? Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> no, I can. <laughs> All right, very good. Now, remember, if I'm asking about your classmates, we can say yes. For example, she or he, right, mm -hmm. can. But if the answer is no, no, she or no, he can't. Okay? Remember, si estoy preguntando in third person, we need to answer with this. We cannot say, yes, I can. Mm -mm. Okay? Nice. Another one. Let's see. Tony, Tony, tell me about your classmates. Can your classmate, mm, let's see, can your classmate sing? Ah, este, um, the last question I can um, told her, but I think that yes, she can. All right, all right. So let's ask her, ask your classmate if she can sing. Okay, lady, can you sing rap? No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. Oh, real. <laughs> How about you, Tony? Can you sing? Um, yes, I, I tried. <laughs> yes, okay. I all right, very good job. So excellent job with the questions, everybody. Nice job with the answers. Do you have any question about how we can use can and can't or the question forms? Any questions or is totally clear the topic? Okay, so are you ready for the exam? <laughs> yes or no? Yes. <laughs> Only one says Maybe. yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, listen, if you have questions, just tell me, all right? When you don't understand something, please tell me. I am totally able to explain again. There's no problem at all. Now, um, let's stretch your arms, everybody. Estírense, please, stretch your arms. Lo veo así un poco estresado, cansado. My goodness, it's Monday. Okay, move okay. your head. Let's relax. Okay, drink water if you have water or coffee, I don't know. Do you like coffee, everybody? Yes? Ah, okay. Yes, yes. A, los que, a los que no les gusta el café, les bajo puntos, all right? <laughs> now, very good. Ya que se relajaron. Yes. I'm going to check attendance again, okay? So everybody, uh, when you listen to your names, please say present, all right? Um, Let's see, Abigail Mejia Mendoza. Present. Very good. Andrea Amalia Garcia. Is not here. Andrea Amalia Garcia. Okay. Let's see, Atilio Ernesto. Here I am. Thank you. Blanca Elizabeth Hernandez. Blanca Elizabeth Hernandez. Okay. Um, Brandon Josue Zavala. Okay. Carlos Alberto Castro. Present me. Thank you. Eh, Celia Cristina. Present. Thank you. Um, Héctor Iván Pérez. Héctor Iván Pérez. Okay. Um, Henry Alberto. 
Here I am. Thank you. Um, Jorge Antonio Sanchez. Present teacher. Thank you. Jorge Jonathan Burgos. Jorge Jonathan Burgos. Okay. Jose Ezequiel Guzman. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Antonio Elias. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose Herrera. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen Rocío López. Present. Thank you. Okay, one second, one second. Uh, Carol Elizabeth Escalante. Present me. Thank you. Kenia Elizabeth Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Lady Xiomara. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Miguel um, Corvera. I'm here teacher. Thank you. Nelson Orlando Tejada. No? Okay. Salvador Ernesto López. Okay. Sandra Abigail Bonilla. Sandra Abigail Bonilla. Okay. Remember, if you don't say present, I'm not going to check attendance. Stephanie Michel Oviedo. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Jancy Kelita Olivares. No. Okay. Jose Marvin Orantes. No. Okay. And Edwin Enrique Garcia. Okay. Ahora sí los mencioné a todos. No, a mí no. I'm sorry. Who? Carla. Carla again. I'm sorry. I don't know what happens. Carla Sofía Argueta, right? Mm -hmm. Ok, thank you. No sé por qué siempre me la, me la como. I'm sorry. <laughs> ok, very good. Now everybody, we already practiced the structure. You already talk. Now let's practice listening. Ok. And in this activity, uh, let's see, let's see. Let me share the screen again. Can you see the presentation? Yes. Yes. yes okay. We are going to listen to an audio. So we are going to try to practice listening. I have here an offer for a job. For this job, we need some abilities, some qualifications. This position is for an office manager, okay? I need a volunteer for reading this paragraph. Who wants to read? Me, teacher. Thank you, Abigail, go ahead. Okay, office manager wanted. A French Italian company needs, needs um, a French Italian company needs an office manager with good keeping skills and ability to speak three languages, including English and Italian. Thank you, Abigail. Okay, for this position, what are the abilities that we need? We need to speak uh, Italian and English. Very good. Uh, and French. You need to speak how many languages? Languages. How many? Three. Three. So, including English and Italian. Italian. Very good. What else? 
another qualifications that you need to have? It's a French Italian company. Mm -hmm. But they don't need the people to speak the French. <laughs> well, they say three languages. So maybe the French is included, right? Okay. Yes. So okay. what is another ability that you need to have for this job? The ability is typing, good typing oh. skills. Exactly. Typing skills. So that means that you need to type very fast. Now I'm going to play an audio. You are going to listen to a girl. The name is Claire. So she is going to answer the interview. At the end, you have to tell me if she is able to take the job or not, okay? So everybody, microphones off to avoid interferences. I'm going to play the audio. Pay attention, try to understand. If you cannot listen to the audio, please just let me know, okay? Pay attention. Okay, can you use a printer? Yes, I can, and I can use a fax machine. Can you touch type? No, I can't, but I can type pretty fast. Can you work with other people? Yes, I can. What languages can you speak? I can speak English, French, and German. Can you speak Italian? No, I can't speak Italian. And can you drive? Yes, I can. Okay, I'm going to play the audio one more time. Okay, pay attention, please. Okay, can you use a printer? Yes, I can, and I can use a fax machine. Can you touch type? No, I can't, but I can type pretty fast. Can you work with other people? Yes, I can. What languages can you speak? I can speak English, French, and German. Can you speak Italian? No, I can't speak Italian. And can you drive? Yes, I can. Okay, everybody, can you listen to the audio? Yes? yes. Did you yes. understand the audio? Yes. yes okay, should. very good. So, is Claire suitable for the job? What do you think? Yes or no? No. No. No, why not? Because she's speaking German and not Italian. Ah, very good. So, mm, she okay, can... can you use a printer? Sorry. In this case, no, right? She's not suitable for the job. She cannot speak Italian. Imagine she can speak Italian. Now, I have a question. According to the audio, can she use the printer? Yes. Yes. Just Yes. yes, all right. Can she touch type? No, can. no, no, no she can't. Can. Very good. Can she work she can. with others? Yes. Yes, yes. she, she can. Yes, she yes. Can. She okay. can work. What languages can she speak? French. Germany. Uh -huh. Germany. Uh -huh. Germany. And French. All right. And can she drive? Yes. Yes, she yes. can. Yes, she can. can drive. Excellent. Yes. Very good. Very good. So when you go to an interview, all right, so you can have different questions. They will ask you different questions to see if you are suitable for a job. So right now we are going to do a role play, okay? I want you to pretend that you are the boss and that you need to hire someone. For example, imagine that I need 
an English teacher for virtual classes. What questions can I ask to the applicants? For example, can you use virtual platforms? Can you tell me another question that I can ask? I need to hire an English teacher for virtual classes. What abilities do I need to see in that person? Hmm. What do you think? Can you, can you speak English? Very good. Can you speak English? What else? Okay. Can you available for the schedule at nine? Mm, can you available? Okay, we can change like, can you work at night, for example? What else? Another question that you can use? Do you think that is necessary to say, hey, can you drive a car? Do you think that is that question necessary? No. Not really, no. right? Um, can you speak Italian? Do you think that is that necessary? No. No. Can you use the computer? Is that necessary? Yeah. Yes. Yes, <laughs> definitely. Very good. Now, that yes. is exactly what I want you to do. Yes, tell me. Can you have a uh, install the Zoom? Oh, can you? Have installed Zoom? Very good. Can you have installed? Installed. Mm hmm install oops sorry it's missing the letter s zoom that's a good one very good so those are the questions that you can ask for a person that is applying for the english teacher now that's what i want you to do but in different areas here we got another example imagine that you are the boss Okay, you want to interview someone for a job and you have to use the questions with can you. And another student, you will be the applicant. Okay, the positions are secretary, we have customer service agent, manager, or salesperson. Let's start with secretary. What questions can we ask? for a secretary, what do you think? Can you type in fast? Can you type fast? You Very type. good. Can you make reports? Reports. Can, all right. Very good. What else? Can you use from Microsoft? Can you use Microsoft a Programs, Program. nice, aha, uh -huh. very good question. What else? Can, Can you, you write with a good orthography? I don't say como se dice. Orthography? Yeah. Or with a good grammar? Mm -hmm. What okay. else? Another question for a secretary? Can you use a photocopier? Okay, if you want to say that, you can use the word printer mm. mm -hmm. or the photocopy machine. Se me olvidó una persona organizada. Organized, organized person. So you can ask, can you be organized? Puede ser ordenado? With the documents, can you be organized? Very good. Now, how about if I need a customer service agent? Can you tell me the questions that you can ask? Teacher, uh -huh. how do you say, can you fluidez? Fluent? 
fluence. Can you fluence? Hmm, okay. But in that yes. case, remember that fluent is an adjective. So first oh. I need a verb. For example, can you speak English Same. fluently or fluent? Or can you speak or can you type, for example? Fluent. So first, remember, siempre necesito un verb. Okay? Now, okay. let's do a practice. I need two volunteers. Remember, extra points for the volunteers. Uh huh. Only two? Oh my goodness. Me, me, me. Thank you, Tony. Okay, I need another volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay, Abigail, thank you. I practice. <laughs> Excellent, that's the attitude. Okay, Tony, you are the boss, okay? You want a secretary. So, interview Abigail. So, Abigail will answer, yes, I can, or no, I can't, okay? This is a okay. role play. Everybody pay attention, action. Hi, good evening. My name is Tony. What is your name? My name is Abby, Abigail. Hi, Abigail. I have a, um, a plus. Uh, um, I have a job for a secretary and I need uh, something uh, for you, of you. Uh, do you use a writing machine? I know, can, can you, you use it? Can you use a writing machine? Yes, yes I can. Okay, can you use a uh, printer? Yes, I can printer. Okay, can you use a fax machine? Yes, she a fax machine. Can you have a good grammar? Yes, I can. Good grammar. Can, okay, perfect. It's perfect for you. And uh, can you uh, use a commuter? Yes, I can. Okay. All right. Um, Hold on. Let's stop there. Very good. Okay. Claps for you. I, I have you a job. <laughs> no, yes, that's, that's the question. <laughs> okay, Tony, <laughs> do you hire her? Does she get the job? Yes, it's perfect for the job. Okay, nice. Congratulations, Thank Abigail. You. Very good. Okay, I need two volunteers. Who's next? You see, the role play is very easy. I need another volunteer. No se peleen por hacerlo, right? <laughs> Come on. Okay. Como no tengo volunteers, and Tony. I choose the volunteers? Yes, Tony, elija uno, and Abigail, please, elija el otro, please. Okay, my partner, Celia Choto. Thank you. Okay, Celia, Abigail, can you tell me another one? My tocaya, Abigail Bonilla. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Okay, Celia, you will be the boss. Abigail Bonilla, are you there? Yes. Okay, Abigail, you will answer, okay? Do you remember, yes, I can or no, I can't. Celia, in this moment, I need um, a customer service agent. Remember, a customer service is a person who answer phone calls and help people. So what questions do you need to ask? Action. Hello, uh, my name is Celia. What is your name? My name is Abigail Bonilla. Okay, uh, I need a customer service and I need uh, four questions. And uh, one, uh, can, you, can you use commutator? Yes, I can. Can you 
good uh, memory? Can you have good uh, memory? Yes, I can. Uh, can you uh, have a passion? Uh, how do you say paciente? Patient. Can you have patient? I can't. Can you type uh, faster? No, I can't. Okay. All right. Thank you. Nice. Nice questions and very good answers. Now, something important. Customer service agent. She says that she can't be Patient. Do you think that is that important for a customer service? Yes or no? I think yes, because the customer service is, is nice. Yeah, it's, it's definitely really, really important. Do you think that for a customer service, uh, do we need to type fast or mm, just a little bit? Uh huh. Do I need to type fast for customer service? I think yes, yeah, because the customer service needs a right report. The customer mm -hmm. and All we need right. to type faster. Very good. That's correct. Okay. Excellent job, everybody. Good job with the questions. Good job with the answers. Now, unfortunately, we don't have more time. Do you have questions about this topic? Can and can't? Or is it totally clear? Okay. Clear. Very good. Excellent. So everybody, uh, we are going to stop here. As I mentioned at the beginning of the class, remember, uh, one of you is going to stay. Los demás se van a retirar, solo uno de ustedes se va a quedar. Don't worry, that is just like five, ten minutes. Okay? Don't forget to start working on the platform. Please remember that it's not optional, it's an obligation. I hope to see all of you tomorrow. Remember, attendance is important. No falten ni un solo día, okay? Así que I hope to see you tomorrow. Everybody have a good night and a beautiful day tomorrow. Goodbye, see you Oh, La persona que se queda, I'm sorry, sorry. La persona que se queda es ta, 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 Abigail Mejía, congratulations. <laughs> So, okay. Abigail se queda, el resto de ustedes. Good night. See you tomorrow, night. everybody. Bye. See you. Bye. See you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, todos se van, please. Solo Abigail se queda. Thank you. Okay, Abigail, hello, how are you? Hello, how are you, teacher? I'm great, how about you? Um, fine. <laughs> okay, uh, mm -hmm. this, this meeting is just to, if you have questions, we can talk a little bit about it. I can explain to you again, if you have a comment or if you want a feedback. So let's start with questions. Do you have questions about the topic that we studied today? No, teacher. Uh, I am at inicio. I begin. At the beginning? At the beginning, I am perdida. And, uh, lost. <laughs> lost. I lost uh, because um, I have uh, travel very difficult, oh. uh, very traffic. Um, I go my work at five and oh I arrive at my home at 9 p.m. What? And yes. where, where do you live? Lourdes, Colón. Oh my gosh, yes. The traffic is crazy. Yes. Oh my gosh. The traffic beginning in uh, Hospital Rosales. <gasps> No way, really? Yes. I am sleeping in 
um, despertar, I wake, wake and up. I wake up in the el mismo lugar. In the same place. In the same place. No, my goodness. Yes. That's Salvador del Mundo. It's very full. Or, 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 horrible. Terrible. Ter yeah. Oh my gosh. It's very yes. tiring. Yes. Oh my God. I admire is, you. <laughs> yes. The travel is very uh, busy or boring. Yeah. And yes, in my house, I arrive very, very cansada, very busy. Very tired. Tired, yes. Yeah, oh my goodness. You are doing a big effort. I mean, I admire you. <laughs> I know that it's <laughs> yes. not easy. It's not easy what you do. Wow, it's very difficult. I know. So, um, the class is being recorded. Siempre grabamos la clase. So if you have a little free time one day, you can check the first part of the class. Así puede hacer cuando se pierda la primera parte de la clase, you can always watch the recording. The recording will be on the platform. Ahí también les añadieron un link de YouTube. So en su tiempo libre, si quiere ver, por ejemplo, cuando se pierda la primera parte de la clase, you can always watch, please the videos para que no se sienta así tan perdida a la siguiente clase, all right? Thank you teacher. Yeah. I have uh, I I think eh uh, iPhone, iPhone the uh, connected in the travel. Mm -hmm. Because my phone battery died. Did, <laughs> died, died. Yeah. And no, yeah. uh, Oh, sí. Entonces, por eso fue que no, no entendía mucho al inicio, pero luego ya, ya, lo, ya le agarré el hilo. That's great. That's the most important sí. thing. Yeah. Um, when you are in the middle of the traffic, if you can connect with your cell phone, I mean, it's all right. And you can have the camera off because you are in, in the traffic. Just be careful. Okay. I don't want you to suffer <laughs> any type okay. of accidents. Yeah. Okay. Um, according to the program or the platform, do you have a question about it? No, teacher. You are on the platform already? Yes, I'm reside in the today on today today okay. in, yes okay. para ver qué hay que había y qué podía hacer <laughs> todo eso yes that's great that's I, great one of first um, lesson mm -hmm. is a can in Kent yes it's very easy yeah, I know. Yes. Yes. So you can start working on the platform. Remember, it's important to work every single day para que no se nos vaya a acumular. Okay. Así que en sus okay. ratitos libres, let's complete the exercise. Well, Abigail, you are doing a great job. Así que siga así, please. Uh, esperemos que estos siguientes días no haya mucho tráfico. So you can mm -hmm. get at home early. If you have questions, uh, just tell me. You can send the questions on WhatsApp group. If you need help with the exercise, also you can tell me. I'll be happy to help you, okay? Okay, thank you, teacher. Very good. Thank okay, you. Abigail, good night and see you tomorrow. Good night. Goodbye. Tomorrow. Nice see to you. meet you, teacher. My pleasure. <laughs> Goodbye. Mm -hmm. See you. Goodbye.